Everybody wants strong and reliable behaviors, like a dog that will come when called every time, no matter where you are. But in order for us to build these reliable behaviors that will hold up in the real world, we have to build each skill that our dog has with the three Ds, distance, distraction, and duration. Distance is how far the, away the dog is from you when you give the cue and they can still respond. Distraction is everything else going on in the world around your dog. And duration is how long they can maintain the behavior. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. And one of my favorite things about dog training is splitting these big complex skills down into small pieces. We can build all of these behaviors that our dogs have into strong behaviors where our dogs know in all contexts what we're asking them for. In today's video, we're gonna go over how you can use platforms to start to work on distance with some known behaviors. Let's take a look. In order to follow along with this tutorial, your dog is going to need to understand some foundations of platform training. If you haven't already worked on this concept, check out the card linked at the top for a starting tutorial. The platform helps keep the dog in position and gives them a place to remain as you start adding distance. We're gonna start right in front of the dog. Give your cue for a sit, down, or stand, and click and treat the correct response. If your dog gets off the platform at any time, just help them get back on and make the next repetition easier by decreasing distance. Give your dog your verbal cue and click and treat the correct response. With each correct response, you can take a very small step back away from your dog, increasing distance. If you notice any latency or delay in response time once you give your cue, if your dog offers you a different behavior than what you're asking for, or if your dog gets off the platform, these are all signs that this skill has become too challenging for your dog. Help your dog get back on the platform and reset them and make your next repetition easier by getting closer to your dog. Stay there for a few repetitions to help your dog build success, and then slowly start increasing that distance again. When working on building distance with platforms, I do recommend that you deliver the treat directly to your dog's mouth after you click. Tossing a treat or having the dog come get the treat from you can be dangerous if your dog is getting on and off that platform quickly. It also doesn't set you up very well for another repetition of the behavior since now the dog is not on the platform anymore. Adding distance will take you a little bit of time. When you warm your dog up on a brand new session, make sure that you start close to the platform. Since your dog has done this before, it'll be easier for you to quickly increase that distance. But a warm up at a close distance is a nice way to make sure that you and your dog will find success in this training session. If I'm adding distance to a trick like barking or a spin or wave, I'd like to just focus on a single behavior in an individual training session. When working on position changes, I find it helpful to work in pairs as your down or a stand will reset your dog and give you the ability to ask for another behavior like a sit. As always, keep your training session short of three to five minutes in length with some sniffing or play between multiple mini sessions. And let your dog be the guide. If they're unable to offer that position change on a verbal cue, then it's likely a little too challenging and decreasing that distance for a few repetitions will help your dog find success. Happy training.